the United States of America and Afghanistan want India to play a major role in the Asia Pacific region. And the US doesn't call term Asia Pacific region, Asia Pacific any longer. The latest reference has been Indo-Pacific region, signifies a kind of stretcher India has taken among the emerging economies. The term has been coined by none other but United States of America President Mr. Donald Trump. We have the ambassador of Afghanistan to India, uh, Mr. His Excellency uh, Shahida Mohammad Abdali with us, who will shed more light on the bilateral relations and how India is actually uh, emerging on a global map as a strong power. It's a pleasure to have you here, sir. Pleasure to be with you. When US says that India can actually play a very little role, <coughs> especially in regard to the India and Afghanistan. So what is it at hinting at? And do you think that India is somewhere shying away from taking that responsible position, maybe because of the backlash from the Pakistan and China? Uh, what, do you, what do you think about that? Well, India is a great uh, country. Uh, you take it by any means, by size, by the potential it, it, it offers. Um, uh, by any means, uh, including uh, democracy that you see, uh, the largest democracy in the world. And the opportunities it provides for its own people and to the rest of the world. Therefore, uh, India is a reality now as a power. And uh, the world counts on India. Afghanistan counts on India. And the rest of the region counts on India. Therefore, uh, it is an acknowledgement of the importance of India, what it can do. It looks like India has not done what it has uh, to do and therefore there is a call on doing more because of the strength it has and we're, we welcome the call on <coughs> India to, to do more and play a much more active role uh, with regard to the whole region including Afghanistan. You heard the a uh, new U.S. president with regard to the new U.S. policy for South Asia and uh, the call on India to play a great role in Afghanistan. And we welcome it and we look forward to that great role from now on. What is the reason that when we talk to defense experts, they think that India is actually not ready to take on that role? And also, like you recently, you just referred to the trade deficit. And that has been the case among between China and India also. The trade deficit is growing substantially. And we want to partner, collaborate on many uh, verticals, say defense, say infrastructure, say pharmaceutical, healthcare, and all. Unfortunately, because of the uh, geographic boundaries and because Pakistan doesn't let you build up that kind of bridge, okay, what is the alternative now? You talked about air corridor. Can you please elaborate on that also? Well, we, in fact, um, uh, endorse win-win. For countries around the world, uh, including this part of the world, which means that uh, there should be no zero sum uh, uh, policies, which means open borders for trade, for people to people relationship. And we look forward uh, to that win win uh, mentality to exist in this region, uh, mainly Pakistan to allow business to flourish, to allow people to people relationship to flourish. And uh, in fact, um, uh, we have been advocating this for years. But that does not mean that uh, we should be manipulated or we should be kept dependent on one particular uh, alternative. Uh, therefore, uh, while keeping our eye on Pakistan to give us that um, opportunity for business to happen between Afghanistan and India through WAGA. We also uh, strive towards uh, opening other exactly alternatives and we've already done so. Uh, Chabahar was a milestone after years of our negotiation among us between Afghanistan, Iran and India, we were able to launch the Chabahar port. And we also launched the air trade corridor Therefore, um, no one can be uh, subject to any, any uh, sort of manipulation um, when it comes to business or trade or etc. And uh, the best option would be to, uh, to endorse or embrace win-win uh, option, which is to allow business to happen and separate business and trade from any type of 
uh, tension or a political observation. Right. And India and Afghanistan, they are seen as strategic ally by the US and especially to counter uh, China and the South Asia. So when, when we have developments like quadrilateral India, Japan, uh, US and Australia partnering to take on probably China, how do you look at it? Well, I don't think there is any effort to counter any particular country. Okay. It is all about how uh, one continue to do better. And that should be uh, the effort uh, and, and, tr and must be the effort in the minds of any country to do better. And, uh, you know, uh, a responsible, uh, you know, a fine competition uh, for economies to grow is ultimately going to help everyone. Uh, what we are against is to use any uh, means or any instrument uh, in order to stop anyone else to grow. That is something which, which we uh, disagree with. Uh, the whole effort, as I see, in this region, uh, particularly I see in the context of India, which is to partner, which is to merge uh, our economies, which is to stop any spoiler, make any uh, trouble. And we hope that uh, that mindset will prevail in this region and uh, remove barriers that exist today. You have written a book, uh, a in India, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. And when the position, the committed position of international court of justice goes to India, I mean, it was always held by the Britishers, and India was the one of uh, the country. So that actually signifies that there is a kind of shift also happening. I mean, when, when you talk about this paradigm shift, where do you see India going now? My paradigm shift are also uh, based on the new ground realities. We are no longer in the uh, 20th century. We are in the 21st century where new countries, new powers emerge. And this ICJ is one example that India uh, has the rightful place being, uh, you know, one of, one of when being the largest democracy and one of the largest population in the world, rather second largest or first uh, up to, with, along with China, uh, very much deserve to be uh, in that place. This means that, uh, that there has to be a paradigm shift uh, uh, with regard to politics, with regard to relationships, and we must not get stuck in the old mentality, which, uh, which is also defined in the context of the Cold War, where we, every country would strive towards progress at the cost of another uh, power and a country. That must go away. My paradigm shift was also to encourage business to flourish to encourage economies or businesses to be separated from any political dispute that exists uh, between countries. And that will ultimately resolve the problem that we face today. So we hope that the paradigm shift that I suggested, which was to, uh, to uh, do business without any hurdle, uh, particularly between Afghanistan, India, and, and Pakistan, and the particular suggestion that I uh, uh, put there uh, as, a, as a starting point was to uh, include India as part of APTA, uh, where, uh, where transit takes place without any problem between Afghanistan and India. And uh, as, as, a, as an exchange, uh, Pakistan gets free access to Central Asia. Uh, that is the most doable you know, uh, thing to do today, which can pave the way for a much larger business to, to, to happen uh, in the long run. Right. And you also talked about the, uh, this uh, businessing being done through Bagat and border as well. So when you are in the uh, northern part of the country, Punjab region, and this is considered to be a very uh, prosperous region, it's a consumer state, and you are in Chandigarh at the moment. So what are the verticals, which kind of collaborations are possible? Uh, like you talked about agriculture, or are you looking at some other sectors as well? Absolutely. There are many similarities. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, we have relationship at the national level uh, all over India with a number of states. Uh, when you talk of Punjab, uh, particularly Punjab has much to offer uh, in agriculture. And Afghanistan is an ag agriculture-based uh, economy. Uh, there is much we can share. And also given the fact that we have an old relationship business-wise 
the Grand Trunk Road going through Punjab uh, is, uh, is one of the greatest foundation that we have for business to be revived once again. Uh, I'm going to meet the Honorable Chief Minister today uh, to discuss how we can explore business between our two countries, how we Punjab. can Punjab and Afghanistan okay. and, uh, and the air trade corridor to happen uh, and also air uh, connectivity between Afghanistan and Punjab will be the first thing to do and the rest will be uh, areas of cooperation including uh, health. Thank you so much for speaking to Economic Times and on that note, we believe that the bilateral relations between the two nations, they get stranded further. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks.